I'm Hannah Keeley, and I'm so excited you're joining us for the six week shape up. Six week shape up. Yes, I did that right. Okay, so now we're on week two, and we got our first challenge today. And here to help me, as always, is my wonderful husband, Blair Keeley. <laughs> so we are talking. You know? Yes, you can get up. <laughs> so we all. Oh, we are talking today about building muscle. And there are three, okay, everyone can do this. Come on, we're only asking you to do three muscle building exercises. We want you to incorporate these into your everyday life. You can do these. And Blair is Coach Keeley here. He's gonna show us the proper technique and how to do these three. Now, the three are, we're gonna start with um, squats. Okay. Show you how to do squats. Got it. Firm this up, firm this up, squats, help you do that. And then we're going to move up and talk about abs, the one exercise you need to do there. And then finish up with the push upper body push-ups. Yeah, with like chest and shoulders. Okay, so squats, the proper technique and how to do squats. And, okay, well, you show, you show them how the proper technique. Okay. I'll tell you how to incorporate this. Okay, so what you want to do when you're doing squats, this is going to help you build uh, your quads as well as your hamstrings and your rear end, tighten that thing up. Um, what you want to do is make sure that you've got your, uh, your legs about shoulder width apart, okay? And, and then uh, basically just go into a seated position, uh, and you're going to go down, and then you're going to come back up. Uh, and what you want to do is try to put most of your weight on your heels, not on the front of your feet, but on your heels, so you're kind of sitting back. So you'd basically be going but down like this and back up. Okay, and you notice just when like I'm down, sitting down, just like you're sitting down, when you notice I'm sitting down, the tops of my feet, I don't know if you can see that, Kai. To the tops of my feet, I can move them around because the weight is on back. And you're really going to feel this in your rear in end. Your rear end. And you can increase the intensity by adding weight. By adding weight. So I've got them right here. So what I'll simply do is a simple curl. This is you don't want to have heavy weight here. By the way, a baby counts too. Lots of times, folding a baby, I'd be doing this kind mm -hmm. of thing. Yep. So. But uh, this is this is ten pounds here. You can do fives. You can do eights. You can do threes. Not a big deal. But just bring them up like this. As you're doing your squats. And that also works the biceps. So let's show them, okay, we got this, we got this. Let's show them about the abs here. So okay. what are we going to do? We're going to do uh, crunches, all right? And you've seen regular sit-ups, okay? If uh, a regular sit-up, basically, if you're laying, you're sitting on the ground, laying back on the ground, regular sit-up is where you take your hands, or take your uh, hands behind your head, or you can have them out here. If you have your hands out here, it's a little bit easier if you have your hands back here, it's a little bit more complex. But a full sit-up, you come all the way up to a sit-up. Makes sense, doesn't it? All right. What we're going to do is crunches. Crunches will help with the upper part of your abdomen, as well as the middle. And the further up that you go, the more of your abdomen that you're working with. So this one is really going to sort of help the upper part of your abdomen. I'm going to show them what to do, because sometimes, um, sometimes when you're doing this right here, yep. you can strain your neck. So let me yep. show you something else to do. So here we go. Hold this in front of you. Good, yeah. Okay, now this is a great way to, because we can't really squeeze a lot of crunches in because our, our time is busy and stuff, so this is another great way to increase the intensity of the crunch that you're and doing. And what you want to do is just get your shoulders off the ground. That's really all you have to do. You don't have to go all the way up. Do you want to come to about right yeah. here? Yeah, shoulder blades off the ground, and you're going to really feel that. Now, and remember, if weight is too intense... Right now, all you have to do is keep your hands, you can cross your arms, you can keep your arms out here. This is a good one to do, you know, with the kids, you can you can hold on, play around with that. They used to sit on my belly doing crunches like that. So, yep. the last one, push-ups. Push-ups. Push -ups. Push -ups, They're my favorite. Um, Not couple, my favorite. A couple of different ways that you can do push-ups. <laughs> this is going to help your shoulders, your chest, uh, and some of your arms, uh, some of the biceps and triceps in your arms too, but mainly your chest and your shoulders here. Two ways that you can do push-ups, depending on how uh, experienced you are at doing push-ups. First is um, for beginners, people that haven't uh, been doing this for a long time, or if you haven't been exercising for a while, this is one way that you might want to start this off. And that would be with your knees on the ground, okay? So your knees aren't off the ground, they're actually touching the ground. You put your hands at about shoulder width, okay? Shoulder width. You try to get your uh, knees as far back so that Look you have. He's totally level here. You kind of have a level, back. straight back, right? So what you'll do is you'll go all the way down to the ground, and then all the way back up, right? If you can only do one, fantastic. Just do one. Just do Just one. one. If you can do five, do five. If you can do more, do more. That's fine. Just keep on going down. And like some that. of you may not want to get on your knees. Some of you may be, you know, let's push it some more. And more if like you're ready to push it, then you want to get up on your feet. 
Okay, again, you want to keep your body as straight as a plank. This is called the plank position. Keep your, keep your body as straight as a plank, and then go straight down. That may be difficult, again, for those of you that are just starting out. One way to make it a little bit easier is spread the legs just a little bit and widen the hands just a little bit. And actually, you'll find that the, that the push-up is a little bit easier. I just still like prefer knees. Okay, so let me tell you a few ways you can work this into a busy mom's schedule. First of all, with the push-ups, kitchen counter. You don't have to do it on the floor. Kitchen counter, just lean back as far as you can. Or maybe if you want to you know, push it a little more instead of the kitchen counter, you know, do it uh, maybe against a chair or something. So you don't have to get on the floor mm -hmm. to, to work that upper body. Right. Also, for crunches, like I said, you know, pick a time. Maybe you want to watch TV with the kids or something during commercials. You can do it then. Um, squats. This is a great way to work it into your housework. Every time you have to, like when you're folding laundry, squat down to do it. Don't bend over. Squat to do it. When you're emptying things out of the dishwasher, squat to get them. So that's just working into your yep. daily schedule. Absolutely. And uh, so those are three very important exercises. They'll help you build muscle. They'll help you build strength. Um, and uh, I know Hannah's got a, a bunch more tips, a bunch more uh, programs in regards to exercise. And feel free to come to my Facebook page, uh, Coach Keeley. And uh, if you're interested in learning more uh, about more intense uh, exercise and workout programs. Yeah, and also CoachKeely.com. Check it out. Oh, yeah, and right. tomorrow we've got some great information and another and a cool recipe on fat. Check that out. All right, see you tomorrow. See ya.